All right, scholars, we're going to do a summary of the different types of graphs that you should be familiar with involving acceleration. So I'd like you to take a moment to create these sketches on your paper, like I have here, and then we're going to do some of these graphs together. So go ahead and pause the video and come back when you're done. The first case that we'll take a look at is an object moving with positive velocity and positive acceleration. So what do you think these two graphs are going to look like? We have position versus time and velocity versus time. I'd like you to pause the video and then when you come back, see how I drew them. So on your own, sketch lightly what you think they're going to look like and then you can look at my solution. All right, so hopefully from our lab with the golf ball, you feel convinced that position versus time graphs for positive acceleration and moving in the positive direction are going to swoop up like this. The velocity versus time graph is going to be a straight line showing that the velocity is increasing at a constant rate, so constant positive acceleration. Let's take a look at the next example. Go ahead and pause the video, sketch what you think they'll look like, and then come back to check your work. So here we have a situation where the object is going to be getting slower. It's experiencing positive velocity, but a negative acceleration. And we can go ahead and add that up here. This was getting faster. So it's going to be starting off going fast, but it's going to be getting slower, so it's going to be stabling out. So it's also a half parabola, but it's what we call a sleeping half parabola on its side. The velocity is positive, so it's always going to be in the upper part of the graph, but it's going to be sloping downward because it's getting to be a smaller velocity. It's experiencing a negative acceleration. And if that negative acceleration continues, eventually the object might actually come to a stop, where velocity equals zero. All right, go ahead and take a look at the next scenario. We have an object moving in the negative direction with a positive acceleration. So go ahead and pause it, and then come back to see how you did. So negative velocity the graph is going to be having to be pointing downward, but a positive acceleration. So let's just think about what's happening with the speed here. Negative and positive, you can think of it as negative times positive equals negative, and that represents getting slower. It's a nice way to remember how it works. So it's going to be going in the negative direction, but getting slower. So it's going to be going down, but leveling off. And the graph for velocity versus time is starting off with a negative velocity, but getting to be more toward a positive velocity. So there's a lot going on here. Started off going fast in the negative direction, but then here, when it was flat, it was basically stopped. And over here is where it was going faster. This is similar to this graph here, where it was going fast in the beginning, but was getting slower and slower and slower. And eventually, when this graph levels off, it will have been stopped. And this graph over here, showing going slow and then going fast. And similar here, slow, this part here going fast. Here, starting off going fast, then going slower, and finally stopping. Down here, we're starting off going fast in the negative direction, but getting slower. And finally, at this moment right here, there was a moment where it was temporarily stopped. And the way I drew this is that it was continuing on through so if that's going to be the case, then this graph over here, I'll change to a different color. This graph over here would actually um, begin to curve up like this, where it's beginning, now it has a positive velocity as it's curving back up, and that would represent here where it's going back up. And that's kind of like a bonus part. If you're having a little trouble understanding the part that I just did here in green, it's okay. 
All right, now, going back to, okay, so we're back. Let's take a look at what these graphs would look like. First of all, we should recognize that it's gonna be getting faster here. Again, you can think of it like negative and a negative makes a positive, if that helps you remember it. So going in the negative direction, it's gonna to have to be going down and it's getting faster. So it's gonna be going down and swooping down here. So here it's going slow, and this here it's going faster. The graph of velocity versus time, it's starting off slow, maybe even, maybe even from rest, but it's getting faster in the negative direction. So it's gonna look like this. Slow here, faster here. Notice how these two graphs are the flip of the top two graphs. Where on the top it was positive, positive, on the bottom it's negative, negative. All right, so take a look at these. Um, bring questions tomorrow in class or for our review session if you'd like to get some clarification on this. All right, thanks for tuning in.